Hey there beaters! Today I want to show you how to make the Rosemonte Resort Cuff. And it uses the Diamond Duo bead, which because of its two holes pairs perfectly with the Preciosa Rosemonte crystals. You can see how they sparkle and basically steal the show. This bracelet is gorgeous and so simple to make as you will see, just a few steps and then repeat those steps as needed. So the materials needed for this project are about 60 inches of waxed beading thread like wildfire. You'll be using two needles simultaneously. You'll need a set of pliers, some glue to finish your knots. You'll need around 22 Diamond Duo beads in aqua color. You'll also want 42 Rose Monte crystals size SS16 in apricot on gold plate. You'll want around 125 2 mm fire polish beads or what we call our two tiny bead. You'll also need two open jump rings in gold and finally a magnetic toggle and clasp set in gold. First step, measure and cut a 60 inch length of thread and attach a needle to both ends of this length of thread. You'll be using both needles to make this design. First using the right needle, thread four two tiny 2mm two fire polish beads to form the seed bead loop. Second step, thread the right hole of a diamond duo using the right length of thread and thread the left hole using the left length of thread. This completes the seed bead loop. Third step, thread a rose monte with each length of thread. Move up through it in a vertical or forward motion, beading away from you. It doesn't matter which hole you choose to pass through, as the rose montes are symmetrical and the holes are interchangeable. Next, you want to continue by repeating steps 2 and 3 until you reach the desired length of your bracelet. A 7 inch bracelet is ideal for an average wrist size. Step 4. Once you've reached the desired length of your bracelet, thread four two tiny fire polish beads, first with one length, then thread the same beads going in the opposite direction using the other length of thread. This forms the other seed bead loop that will match the other end. Step 5. Thread two additional two tiny beads with one length of thread, then enter the adjacent rosemonte laterally, so that the rosemonte now has two perpendicular threads passing through it. Add another two tiny between the rosemontes and continue laterally through the adjacent rosemonte to the other side. Pull to tighten. Step six, thread those same beads using the other length of thread but going in the opposite direction. So you're going to re-thread the rosemonte, the two tiny in the middle and the rosemonte. Pull both threads to tighten. So now just repeat steps 5 and 6 until you have added the rest of the two tinies, crossing the threads with the rosemontes and you have beaded the entire bracelet back to the original seed bead loop that is closest to you.
Step 7. Re-thread the original seed bead loop closest to you, first with one length of thread and then the other, crossing the threads a final time. Rethread the two tiny beads. And tie a half hitch knot to each length of thread. Dot each knot with glue, then pull the knot so that it is hidden inside the rosemonte. Cut any excess thread and do this to both lengths of thread. Step 8. Using pliers, close a jump ring around the seed bead loop and clasp. Do this at both ends of the bracelet. I think you'll find this bracelet very easy to make once you get the rhythm of it, and you'll soon see how quickly it beads up into what you see before you. Thanks for watching, and happy beading!